Welcome, IG family, and welcome, Facebook family. I just wanted to come and do a short, short live all tonight to talk a little bit about, number one, what a new health solution has coming up, because you know I love to have some fresh new things coming up and to also talk a little bit about toxic relationships. And when I think about, when you think about toxic relationships, a lot of times people think sometimes, oh, you know, I'm here from it, I'm gone from it, it's far from me, I don't even think about it anymore. And when I think about toxic relationships, it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship that you've been in you know with a mate it could be at a job it could be you know um at church it could have been anywhere any type of relationship that you have been in that was not healthy any type of relationship that you have been in that caused a lot of stress that caused maybe depression a lot of frustration it could lead to having a time where in a relationship was just not healthy for you. And then sometimes you feel like, okay, like how can I move on forward? Sometimes people think that they are healed from it and they really aren't healed. Um, and for example, I'm gonna give you three ways that you can identify or for someone that they have not been able to heal from a toxic relationship. Number one, is it the thought of it keeps replaying in your mind it keeps replaying in your mind constantly and constantly about what occurred what they did to you you know how it wasn't fair you know everything that they did you know how I, I can't believe that they did this i can't believe i allowed myself to get in this situation that in itself will let you know that, hey, I may not be fully healed. I may not have been able to fully get the healing that I needed to get in this relationship. And number two, you may have certain triggers that may remind you. It may be something that a person may do. And you'd be like, see, that's what I'm talking about. That's why I don't, you know, want to get involved with anyone. Or, you know, you're moving on to another job and you're saying, okay, well, I'm not going to go on to this job because I know the next time when I go on this job, if they come to me and say anything, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. So certain triggers can sometimes cause the wound that you thought that you were healed from could cause you to feel a little more like I'm not feeling my best, something they have done, they have hurt me. See, this is what happened the last time, and the last time I got fooled, so this time I'm not going to get fooled. So certain triggers sometimes can give a reminder for you that there has not been a full healing that has taken place. And also, a lot of people will say, which is number three, I forgive, but I won't forget. I might forgive you, but I won't forget. One thing about being able to fully heal, and I just think about even with my own personal healing that I have gone through, that when you are going through a process and you are fully healed, it doesn't even bother you anymore. Now, you may remember, but you'd be like, oh, okay. I had things that at one point in time was just so hurtful for me. And I'm like, oh gosh, I'm not gonna be able to get through this. Oh, I can't believe that they did this. Or I keep replaying my, in my brain over and over and over again. And then now the healing has taken place and I'm like, it's not even a factor. Or if they bring a name up, oh, that's not even a factor because it's not important to me anymore. I took the opportunity and I encourage you to take the opportunity to allow yourself to kind of grow and to heal from it. So you're gonna ask, okay, so how can I grow and heal from it when I don't have closure? But the reality of it is, as I was sharing with someone in a session one time, that one of that person that you wanted to talk to, one of that person that you needed closure from, you're, you're never able to get. Wonder if that person that you wanted closure from and they're not able to be around or they have died and gone on 
and you're not able to get that closure that you need. So when you think about having closure, when you think about being able to move forward, it may not even be an opportunity because sometimes people don't realize that they even did anything wrong. There have been some times where people have caused hurt or they may have done it, but they may not be apologetic about it and really don't even care. And then sometimes when a person says that I'm sorry because I saw a quote before about, you know, the best apology is changed behavior. Well, sometimes the behavior can change, but it doesn't mean that the hurt has not already been there. It doesn't mean that I have already built up that resentment. So now you just feel like everything can just go away. It doesn't mean that it's going to be like that. But one thing about it is, is that you may not be able to get that apology. You may, and sometimes people can tell you that they're sorry a thousand times, but if they don't really tell you anything about, okay, you know, what's going on, or you really not able to get that healing, because sometimes they might be like, I'm sorry, and then they go right back to it again. And it's the same cycle over and over and over again. So when you're in that time and you're in that toxic relationship, you have to allow yourself to get closure for you. It's like when I get to a point, hi, Zanita. So when I get to a point where in, I'm not fully allowing myself to heal, if I'm not allowing myself to be vulnerable again because I have a wall up, that lets me know that that toxic relationship has caused for me to pull up a wall. And it's kind of like when I am not able to fully heal from it, that I am putting the handcuffs on myself and I'm putting myself in jail because I'm not allowing myself to be free. I'm not allowing myself to be able to move forward. I'm not allowing myself to be able to heal because I'm continually holding on to the past. Not saying that it's not going to be a thing wherein you're not going to need, you know, that you're not going to think about it sometimes but it won't hurt as much. When you talk about that, I won't, I, you know, I'll forgive, but I won't forget. There's a different tone in saying, okay, yeah, I remember, but I'm healed from it. You know, it's a different type of tone when I'm saying I won't forget. I might forgive, but I won't forget. But whenever you see him, you want to roll your eyes. Whenever you see him, you really don't want to speak to him. Whenever you see this person that calls that toxic relationship or you go on to a next relationship or the next job or the next church, or whatever it is you're going to your next, it's hard to be able to fully accept and fully move on forward and fully enjoy my life and moving on forward. So you ask, okay, so how is it, you know, you talking about, you know, being able to move forward and being free. Yes, you can be free. You can be free. You can live a holistic mind. You can have that freedom. The point is, is that what is it that I want for myself? And am I willing to do the work? No matter of what anyone did to me, what is it that I want for my life? What is it that I want for myself? And one way is to accept things, it is what it is. I know people have talked a lot about that term, but knowing that it is what it is, and accept that it happened accept okay well they were wrong and sometimes we feel like okay well why did i allow myself to stay in this situation for so long? why did i allow for this to happen and i'm feeling a lot of things up against me and things up against myself but knowing that we have to know that things are going to happen Life happens. I would love to say that life is not going to happen. People are going to do things, but I'm not responsible for other people unless I have children that you're taking care of. You're responsible for your children, of course, but I'm not responsible for other people and I'm not responsible for Hi, Tarika. and I'm not responsible for what they do. And I'm not responsible for their action. I'm responsible for my reaction. So what is going to be your reaction to the situation? And I'm going to be able to accept that it is what it's not saying I'm going to stay in the situation and stay there. But can I accept and want to move on forward? Can I accept and say that I am ready to move on forward to get what I need to get for my life? 
I cannot allow myself to continually be captivated by my past. I cannot allow myself be captivated by the things from that has happened to me and allow that person, whatever it is that happened to me, to hold me back. Because what they're doing is they're holding you back from getting what you need to get. They're holding you back from getting your future, whatever it is that you have for you to get your heal, to get whatever it is that you need to get, your goals, whatever you're working towards, for that next for you, that's what's holding you back. And then a lot of times, you know, when we have dealt with toxic relationships or we've dealt with toxic environments, we tend to think about the negativity of, okay, oh my gosh, you know, you know, I've had this to happen. I, I've dealt with abuse. You, you don't even understand what I've been through, but celebrate the fact that you made it through, that you were strong enough, like you had enough in, inside of you to make it through. So if you had enough inside of you to make it through, if you had enough inside of you that even though you didn't want to go to that job and you knew that that job was toxic and you knew, hey Tom, that knew that everything was not okay and you and you made it through, you made it through them saying whatever it is they said to you, you made it through the abuse, you made it through it all. So therefore, celebrate the fact that you had strength inside of you that you didn't realize that you had. And a lot of times when we have dealt with things and dealt with a blow in our lives, that it's hard to think about the good that I had within me to be able to make it through. Yes, you may have cried. Yes, you may have dealt with issues. I love you too, Tom. And um, you may have dealt with issues. You may have dealt with a lot of things. But guess what? You made it through. You made it through that bad relationship. You overcame. You made it through your mom and your dad talking bad about you as a child. You made it through. You made it through those people who talked about you, degraded your name, you know, and did not want you a part of the pack. You made it through. So if I was strong enough to make it through, that I should be strong enough to be able to make it over. But knowing that it may take a process. It's all about processes. And I can't expect, because we live in a society now that we want things quick, we want it done, we want it quick, we want everything to be done, but we can't expect for if all these things that happened to me all these years, or all this that happened to me for all these months, however long it did, that it's going to turn around quickly, that I'm going to be able to get with everything that I need to get my healing quickly knowing that it's going to take a process, knowing that whenever you think about even a wound, when I, you know, when I fell down and I scraped my knee, I was riding a bike, y'all, and I think and I was doing something. <laughs> and I, you know, I scraped my knee because I was trying to ride my bike and do that turn around that corner, and that corner was not my friend. I think I kind of uh, misjudged that turn. <laughs> so... Somehow I landed up uh, on the ground and scraped that knee. And it took time for that thing to heal. So how can I expect for my physical wounds to heal? And it takes time. I have to get a Band-Aid. I have to get, I have to do all those things. But I expect for my emotional wounds, sometimes the people can't even see the times that I have dealt with that to be able to heal quickly and over it's going to take time. It's going to be a process, but knowing that you have it within you to be able to make it through. So I thank you all tonight that you all were able to join in and just share a little bit of nuggets and tips to move out of the toxic relationships. And if you are in one and you are in a toxic relationship, and you're having a hard time moving forward, I just suggest for you to start looking at what is it that I value and valuing me? What is it that you know I'm, I'm looking at and what is it that I'm holding on to? And knowing that I'm not, they may degrade me, but knowing that I'm better than that. Knowing that we are all created with a special design and jewel that there is none like you, never be like you, will never ever be another person to come after you 
to do what you did. You may not be a national person, may not be an international person and, and known, be famous throughout the world, but you are created with a special design and you have the right to be treated with respect, care, dignity, and love. But first and foremost, I have to have that love within myself. And not saying that I don't, but at the end of the day, knowing that who you are and knowing what it is that you deserve. So I hope that this has been helpful. And I'm so excited to share with you all as well that coming up in two weeks, two weeks, y'all, I am going to be launching another program and I'm going to be doing a live launch. And this is going to be for the ladies only. Sorry, fellas. But this is going to be for the ladies. We're going to do a mind shift boot camp here live. It's going to be all week. We're going to be going through some things. We're going to be pulling out some stuff. We're going to be doing vision planning. We're not going to wait until 2020. We're going to be doing some vision planning. We're going to be challenging ourselves. It's going, this week is going to be a week that's going to challenge you to that next level. We always talking about, I'm living my best life. Are you really ready to live that best life? We are ready to go on forward and live the best life. So we're going to, and to so stay tuned that in two weeks, we're going to be having a mindset shift boot camp coming out. It's going to be packed with different things, different activities. We're going to have some fun women on Facebook Live, just interacting, loving on one another, pushing one another, because I am your partner. And if you would like to work, um, think about scheduling a session for us to get together, I'm going to put my um, information here. You can schedule a breakthrough session because it is time to wear the crowns. The crowns are adjusted. We are there. So the website is there. You can private message me. You can... Um, check out the website because this is time for us to go get it. So if you all want to be a part of it, I will be sending out information sometime next week. So you all stay tuned because a new health solution is coming. Ladies, our crowns are going to be adjusted and we're going to wear that thing proud. And I hope that you all have a good week. Hey, Tori. Hey, T. Riley. Um, that's my line sister, y'all. So I had to give a little shout out to my to my line sisters, to Delta Sigma Theta <laughs> sorority. Yes. So you all have a good night. I enjoyed uh, talking with you all. Just let me know what you think about it. Like it, share it. Let people know that uh, I'm going to be coming back soon. So I hope that you all are able to join me on live and stay tuned. For the mind shift boot camp that's going to be coming up and guess what it's going to be free yes free so yes i ain't going to be trying to be take your car yet <laughs> so come on let's go ahead and have some fun ladies and like i said look up my website if you want to um, have any questions or comments just private message me and then we'll go from there you all have a good night bye now